So this is our uh, our new football report in Power BI, um, aimed at providing kind of interactive um, visualizations and tables of data, allowing you really to get to hopefully any of the stats that you could want to see. So I'll start at the top. There's a number of links uh, linked through to dynamic league tables, scores and results spreads, match statistics. There's a uh, special bullies prize board for uh, for the older generation who remember Bullseye. And then down at the bottom, we've got Bundesliga, Premier League, <coughs> La Liga, Serie A and Championship. And I'm just also just uh, a nod to the uh, the website where I got the data from in Excel and CSV format. Um, there's also just a few links up here that I haven't really highlighted, but you've got um, the, the Dutch League, the French League, uh, League One and League Two in, in the English Leagues. But obviously they're, they're all finished for this season. So the data is still there. I just haven't made them as, as prominent as, as the rest of them. I think also if you click on a, a rather dejected looking pep here, you can get to the Premiership as well as here. Just as a, I'll just start, add that picture in. Um, <clears throat> so dynamic league tables. Uh, this is really for... For every every one of those leagues, um, you can change which league you're looking at. Um, you get a pretty standard kind of league table here, but there's a lot more to it. Um, I've added in the last eight games, so you can see the last eight games for all games. You can see the last eight home games and the last eight away games. This totals up the number of points the team earned in that in those last eight games, whether it's home or away, or both. Um, you can change the season. You can go back to previous seasons if you want. Um, and it's worth noting in, in any table of data that you see in this report, you can click on the column headers to sort in ascending or descending order. So if you wanted to look at um, <clears throat> goals conceded, Aston Villa top, Norwich second. If you want to look at the least goals conceded, click on it again and it will sort it in ascending rather than descending order. So Sheffield United there. Um, second in the league in terms of goals conceded, um, you know, in a good way, in their favour. Um, and then we've also got a slider at the top here that allows you to change the date range. So it kind of defaults to the latest date. But if you wanted to look at the league, say at Christmas, um, you can change that and it'll recalculate this. It'll tell you the league positions as at that date. And uh, again, these, these last eight games will uh, adjust according to the to the day range that you've selected um so quite a, quite a lot on there quite a lot in terms of what you can do with that that page in itself you can also right click um again with any with any table of data in this report if you right click on uh, say a team it's going to allow you a drill through to see the season by fixture or also cumulative um stats and trends so if i go for i don't know wolves um, let's drill through to the season by fixture <coughs> So this shows you both obviously the home and away fixtures, um, what the overall result was. You can sort by any of these columns that you want to. Um, tells you the half-time score, full-time score, how many points, uh, so whether obviously whether they win or lost, uh, won or lost. Um, goal scored, goals conceded, goal difference, shots, shots conceded, shots on target. So I don't know if you were interested in looking at um, which games the Wolves had the most shots in, then that's what, that, what that's going to tell you. And then from here, you can also drill through to get the match stats. So anywhere where you've got a fixture, you can go and look at the stats. Um, so that's Wolves beating Manchester City 3-2, 20 shots against Manchester City 7. Um, I mean, I'm not sure I actually remember the game, but uh, they gave them a good hide in there, didn't they? Um, 1-0 to Manchester City at half-time. Um, actually, when, as I've looked at the data here, you'll see that uh, Wolves actually scored. Um, they came from behind quite a lot of times um, in, in the second half and, and also won games where, that they hadn't been winning at half-time. Um, it shows you the previous six games for the team that you selected, which was Wolves. That's who we came through on. So it shows you their previous six games to this fixture. It also shows you the opponent's uh, previous six games, just so you can get an idea of what the form was like running up to that game. Um, you've always got a back button here and the BI Horizons logo will always take you back to the cover page. So this back button will take you back to the previous page <clears throat> and then back again, we go back to our league table. So the other drill through from this page was to, I'll, I'll change, I'll go to Manchester United. You can drill through to cumulative stats. 
So we start off, if we're on points, but you can change to any of these statistics, corners won, uh, yellow cards, first half goal scored, first half, um, second half goal scored, first half goals conceded, loads of them there. You can change whether you're looking at Manchester United's home games or away games. Um, and then these are all showing the statistics per game. So this is saying on average, <coughs> Manchester United at the moment um, have achieved 1.55 points per game season to date. And that and the hover over there as well also gives you sort of a, a snippet of that match analysis um, page. So this chart here tells you that that 1.55 puts them fifth in the league in terms of their points per game. Um, obviously, that's pretty much the league table. But if you wanted to look at, I don't know, shots conceded, Manchester United are actually... Uh, um, fourth in the league in, in because because obviously <clears throat> the less shots you can see the better. Um, Aston Villa top. Um, we've got key statistics in terms of total numbers um, on a cumulative basis. This is telling you whether the result was a win, draw, or loss. Um, home games, for example, for Manchester United, there shows you cumulative where where they uh, where they kind of built up their their shots conceded. Probably easier to understand if you're looking at points because you'll get a flat line. Obviously, where they where they had a loss, they didn't they didn't get any points and so on. And then down the side here, you've got um, overall form, home home form, and away form. Um, so I find this quite useful when I'm looking at sort of best betting stats and things. When I'm looking at okay, <clears throat> I'm looking at Manchester United at home, don't win so many corners um, in terms of corners conceded. Um, actually. This table should be should be ranking. I'll, I'll fix that um, prior to sending this video out. But it should be ranking from top to bottom, so you get the biggest ones at the top, bottom, and um, the lowest ones at the bottom. Similarly, you can get the away away stats there. Um, and then I'll just go back because there is then a couple of other league tables. You've still got your draw through options from here to either um, season by fixture or cumulative stats. Um, but this just gives you a bit more of a, a different slant on the league table. First half, second half in terms of goal scored and conceded and, and so on. Um, I won't spend too long on it. And then the in-game stats. So this is where um, both teams scored. Did they win to nil? Did they win both halves? Did they lose to nil? Lost both halves. Again, you can sort by these columns. You can drill through from here. You can change the day range. And then... Um, oh, and you've got your different leagues and your different seasons, home and away. <clears throat> and then we've also got this team performance charts here. So this tells you, really, it's a focus on goals and shots, this page. Um, but what it does is it allows you the interactivity between the charts. So if you wanted to see, for example, um, Manchester City, Manchester City top in terms of goals scored, near the bottom in terms of goals conceded, so that's good for them. Uh, most shots, most shots on target. If you look at Burnley, you'll see actually their um, shots on target, bottom of the league, um, shots very low down, um, total goals scored 14. So they, they've got a good a good kind of shooting accuracy there. And, well, sorry, goals per, per sort of shot on target. Um, <clears throat> Newcastle and so on. And, and you can click on any of these things. Like you can click on the bars or the, or the axis and, and it'll filter the other charts. Um, again, you've got home away. Um, you can look at, for example, just wins if you want to look at just wins um, and, and see see where the, the team's ranked under different statistics. Again, you can change this if you want to look at the last X number of games, bring that forward. That's going to show you, uh, well, it's only showing you, they go to all games. It's only showing you two games, just the date range that I've selected. Um, that's the last four. Last, last seven or eight games, you know, you can get a, a more up-to-date idea of what those what those stats look like. So going back to the, the homepage, um, we've then got scores and results spreads. So the first page here is half-time, full-time, um, win, draw, lose. So teams that were losing and went on to win, teams that were winning and went on to lose. Um, again, you've got this for every every league, every season, home and away as well. Um, page that shows <clears throat> by season across the top um, what the what the scores were, and it's got a bit of a heat map on there, so you can see where the most likely ones are. So, if we select, um, who should we go with? Leicester, Leicester away. 
um, you see that the, the dark shading here. So uh, three one nil away wins. They've got six uh, two nil home wins. They've got uh, this is a so I'm looking at 2014 2015 there. But this season you'll see um, you're looking at one nil home wins, two nil away away wins, or two one home wins. Or yeah, two one away wins. So. Uh, it really depends what you want to look at, but you might find some, some interesting stuff in there. And then we've also got the score spreads by league and divisions. So this just shows you across the different leagues that we've built into this, what those scores were. Um, you can collapse these down if you want to look at sort of overall subtotals like that. Or if you want to look at just away wins, then you can focus in on that. I don't believe there's any, no, there's no drill throughs from this. Um, so a variety of things under the scores and results spread. Um, match stats, loads of stats in here. So <clears throat> down the side here, you've got win, draw, lose, games won to nil, won both halves, and, and so on. Failed to score, both teams to score. Um, and then the teams across the top. At the moment, this is on a way. Um, some of these filters apply across pages. So when you adjust it on one, you'll see it on other pages as well. Um, so again, that's that's kind of all games. And then from here, you can say, OK, well, I'm interested in this one here. Drill through, see the season by fixture for those two games. Um, or go to the, oh, this selected statistic is actually what I was looking for, sorry. So um, nine score draws for Brighton, for example. So if I drill through on that one, it's this selected uh, statistic by fixture. You get the nine the nine games there. So there were score draws, obviously both teams to score. Um, and against uh, away at West Ham, they, they didn't concede in both halves. So you'll see that um, they, they were, what am I looking at here? Came through on Brighton. I'm oh, sorry, did concede in both halves. So they were 2-0 down at half time and then they conceded in the second half as well confusing myself um so this just shows you where you've got different markings now score draws is you don't you don't get many in here but this this tells you where they lost went and where they lost both halves um games where both teams scored conceded failed to score and so on and then I'll just go back to the home page we've got this uh as i said this throwback to uh to bullseye because um we've got um bucky's um, odds in here in terms of win lose draw from the likes of bet 365 and uh, betway um, and what we've done is we've kind of averaged the odds that you would have got on those games <clears throat> um, obviously before the game and we've tried to to just pull something together that shows you for the home team down the side here and the away team across the top and um, what you would have won if you put your money on let's say the bookies favorite in this case um so Arsenal against Aston Villa. Um, this was a you would have you would have won that bet because you put your money on the bookies' favourite. Um, I would imagine there the bookies' favourite was was Aston Villa. And what you can do is you can go through see the match stats. Um, so the bookies' favourite was Arsenal. I would think yeah, one point four for a home win, eight for an away win. Arsenal won three two. Not a, didn't exactly walk it. Um, and then if you went for um, the bookies' favourite. And the bookies' favourite was an away win. These are the the results that you would have won on, and these are the ones that you would have lost on. This is all based on a ten pound stake, just as an example. So, ninety five games in here, which is just shown here, nine hundred and fifty pound would have been the stake that you put on if you bet on it. Every one of those where the bookies' favourite was an away win, you would have been sixty five pounds eighty down. Um, if you'd bet on the underdogs where the underdog was an away win, you would have been one hundred and forty pounds up. Um, you can see, it sounds obvious, but you would have lost most of them in terms of the volume of games. You've got, still got 95 games, you would have lost most of them, but you would have had potentially some big wins in there, like, um, what's this, the Bookies underdogs, Norwich beating Manchester City. Um, Norwich 3, Manchester City 2. So clearly you would have won um, quite a lot. Of money on that on that stake, that's 149 pound return. I'm pretty sure Wolves beat um, Bookies, Bookies underdogs. Just trying to remember the sure Wolves beat um, Manchester City at some point as well. Um, 
Which was home. Ah, okay. So the under, yeah, the bookie's favourite was home. I've got in that case. So that was a Manchester United favourite, and you went for the underdog. Um, so lots of stuff within sort of body's prize board. This is all stuff that we'll be spending a little bit more time on trying to improve over the next couple of months, and we're also going to look to bring in some some player statistics into here as well. Um, really, we'll be focusing around how to how to pull out the really strong uh, statistics, like the hot streaks, the losing streaks, the bogey teams. Um, you know, who, who's um, <clears throat> who's who, what? Are, what are the fixtures that you should be looking at on, on a particular day, and what are the really strong stats that that we can pull out automatically that that, guide, that might give you some guidance as to where you want to put uh, put a bet on that. Um, and, and like I say, we'll also be bringing in the player stats. <clears throat> So if you go through on any of these other links, you get to similar tables, but they're um, they're they're kind of one division at a time. So if I go to La Liga, you start off with Barcelona. It shows you the fixtures. Um, this is a slightly different table to tables that we've had before. You've got a link through to the cumulative stats from here, so it'll take you straight through to Barcelona. And again, you can you can switch between these two things here. You can change the team from there. So it's just really a quicker way of getting to. Um, similar sort of stats but on a on a league by league basis um and that's because obviously if you come through to la liga you only want to be able to select from a list of uh, a list of teams whereas if i go back to here if you start off on here you kind of you start off with a list of teams and then you drill through from there but if you want to change the teams you've got to, you've got to change which which division you're looking at first and then go from there so just a, diff a different way of getting to, to very similar information, really. Um, and I think for now, that's probably all of it. I mean, you can see that there's a, um, from, from a one page report, as you kind of click through the links and drill through and sort the columns and stuff, you can get to a whole lot of information there. So um, really hope you find it useful. Um, love to hear some feedback from people uh, if, there's, if there's different views of the data that people would like to see. Um, I mean, we're looking at things like doing some um head to head um pages where you can see, you could and select the two teams that you want to see and maybe see how they've performed season by season versus each other um see how <clears throat> that particular fixture has been over the last number of seasons um and how the reverse fixture has gone that, that that kind of thing but any thoughts people have anything that you think would be really useful to see please uh just just um get in touch and we'll we'll try and uh, we'll try and add it into our to our final version this is really just a beta but hope you enjoy it anyway. Thank you very much. Bye.